I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Chippewa bead design. Okay, I'm going to take two fingers over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line out, in, big curve line down, up, curve line over, and connect. Right here at this point, I'm going to draw a baby circle. And right underneath that, I'm going to draw curve line connect. I come inside this space and mimic that line, curve line, connect. I come up on the right and I draw a big curve line in, connect. I come back in and I draw another big curve line up, connect. And I come right inside and draw another curve line, connect. Okay? I come right here at this point and I draw a big curve line up, back, connect. Right at this point I draw a big curve line up, back, connect. I come down here on the bottom and I'm going to draw a curve line out, up, connect. And another curve line out, up, connect. Starting right up here at the top, I'm just going to draw a big curve line out, little curve line down, follow that line back, curve line, right there, leave it floating. Because right here, we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line back, curve line up, over, and connect. This design is the rose design. Now, come over here up on the top and we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's put one more here, nine baby circles. In each one, baby circle, 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 baby circle. On this space right here, I draw a curve line down, connect. Come back up, curve line down, connect. On this one right here, I'm going to draw Curve line down, connect, curve line down, connect. Come over here on the left, we're going to draw a big curve line up, down, connect. Right above it, curve line out, in, connect, curve line out, in, connect. Right here, we're going to do some overlaps, curve line out, back, connect. Curve line out, down, connect, curve line out, back, connect. Right in here, we're going to add just one little line. Okay. I think that's all. So this is the rose design. These are the grapes design. Let me make sure I have enough grapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do. All right. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to color in these spaces with pink. And what you have to realize is every single color that I'm putting down is really representing beadwork done by the Native Americans. And this would have been a design, a rose grape design. They would have beaded on a pouch or a sash or a shirt. 
So we're going to do that inside part pink and then all of these baby circles we're going to do pink also. So imagine doing every single color that we're going to do, have it being a sewn in color with beads. Now I take my purple and I'm going to color in all of these spaces purple. And the beadwork that they used to do, they still do today, just unbelievable, beautiful work. So this specific design is used repeatedly by other members of the beadwork community. This would be considered a standard pattern. And like I said, this is grapes and roses. And somebody might say, well, that doesn't look like a rose. This is stylized. These don't look like grapes either. These are stylized designs. So I did that all purple. Next, I take my red and I'm going to color in these spaces red. Now a lot of the beads they really did trade for, they're European beads, so they'll show some of the examples of the beadwork and the colors will be very vibrant and that's because they were traded for by the Europeans that came over and interacted with the indigenous tribes. So this is all red, okay? Then, they use green as the unifying color between the bottom part of the design and the top part of the design. Now, you will do a way better job than me. You will see on my next picture, I colored really dark. You might want to take time in between colors so you don't hurt your hand. Now this would be a very good project if you had markers, but I don't have any markers. So I'm using crayon and there's nothing wrong with crayons. Crayons are great. You get vibrant colors. It's not expensive. Take care of your crayons. And you can get some wonderful techniques. So, all of the green is also beaded. It's all beadwork. If you watch Antiques Roadshows, they sometimes get examples of this. Okay? Alright. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Chippewa beadwork all colored in. Google it to see real examples. Okay. Bye-bye.